Camelot is a 1998 animated fantasy film produced by Golden Films. It's certainly, and rather unapologetically, made to capitalize on Quest for Camelot as fast as possible, with as little budget as possible. But I was surprised to find out that it not only has its own merits, but quite a few of them. Most immediately, the soundtrack, while overpowering, is emotionally moving and thematically appropriate for the narrative. The opening song, Dreams of Avalon, is lyrically and dramatically on par with Prince of Valiant's excellent Where the Truth Lies, which is extremely impressive. It sets you up for the grand scope of the adventure to follow, while hinting at some introspective characteristics bubbling beneath the surface. The second most apparent highlight is the poetic dialogue and enthusiastic delivery. There's some good stuff here, and it comes from a meaningful place. The themes most prevalent in the film are those regarding human suffering and what's required to bring its end. As Merlin says, we must fly above human division, see a world without borders, when we are all one, when we can befriend the wind, know the stars by name, and live in complete harmony with the world and people around us, we will at last be free. There will be no more to fear, no more cause to fight. Most of the film's runtime is comprised of Arthur's relationships, his journey to build a peaceful world. There's not much action, which is good since the animation is quite atrocious, but there is plenty of high-stakes drama. Political drama, relationship drama, lots of good stuff involving forbidden love, the pain of lost time, the longing for your true home, all that stuff. It's palpable. The character's suffering cuts deep and true. It's easy to understand how Camelot rises, how it falls apart, and what follies of man led to the misery we see unfold. That said, it's not perfect, obviously. The music is much, much louder than the dialogue, obnoxiously so. The animation also has too few frames, the pacing is so lightning fast that there's never a moment to breathe, and there's just some plain weird stuff here and there, where the dialogue conveys absolutely nothing, and yet the scene moves along as though the characters genuinely exchanged ideas. It's probably a bit hard to watch, but it's not garbage. I was pleasantly surprised at least.